So I'm thinking, um, I've had this Vegas control card for quite a while, but I've never, I've put it in a system, but for some reason, there is no review of me actually testing it. So what better more to test it than test it with the new Venom R20 um, AIO cooler, which is in there. So you would have seen the review already, but the review does not show that the RGBs are on, on the actual AIO, but you can control it even if you haven't got an AIO motherboard. So technically this is pretty cool. So what it is, is that it's a Vegas control card with a manual um, control button and also a function button. Now the function button is a manual button which does blue, red, green and white. Then it's got four color cycles, which is blue, red, green and white. Then um, it's got a seven color cycle, which is red, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, white and purple. And then you've got a seven color breathing, which is red, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, white, purple. So we're just gonna test that right now. And basically, if you wanna turn it off, you can turn it off as well. Or if you wanna connect it to a motherboard that's got RGB, you can do that as well. But we haven't got an RGB motherboard, we've got a non-RGB motherboard, just to prove the fact that we can use AIO water cooling units, which is got 50-50 RGB and runs on the 12 volt. So this is what we're gonna do right now. So, well at the moment, I don't even know what I've got it on, but let me have a look. So it's on blue. So if I press that one, so that's blue, obviously, then red, then green, then white. Then after that, because this is not doing anything, this is just if you want to choose four colors from like that, it cycle it down until you come back to where I am now. So if I press it again, we get blue, then red, then green, then white, and then blue again. Now that's the first cycle, and it's like kind of like stock sort of footage. So now I'm gonna click it one more time, and then we've got red, yellow, greeny yellow, green, blue, white, purple, and red. Then I'm gonna go back into it again, and then we've got the breathing feature, which is red, like a yellowy, red, orangey color, yellow. Then we've got green, blue, and etc. etc. I guess then. Now what we could do, if we don't want it on, we could just do this, if I can find the button. So on the back of my uh, PCI Express uh, brackets is where it is. I can just turn it off like so. And then nothing happens. I'm clicking the buttons and nothing's happening. Or I can turn it on and then it will be back where I left off. But if you want to cycle through it, you can cycle through the colors until we get to where you need to be. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So you can literally connect up the AIO, which is the Venom R20. You can connect it to a motherboard that's got the LED can function on the motherboard and then it will cycle, it will breathe, it will do rainbow dashes, it will do asteroid. It will do everything that you want it to do, even like dancing with music, or you can connect it to the little box that I've got underneath, which is a CASA, which is the same company that makes this. And um, yeah, you can connect it up if you've got a non-RGB motherboard. And saying that, at the end of this video, I might as well just tell you that I've got, the case is not um, RGB synced, but it's RGB'd. The graphics card is not RGB'd, but it is RGB'd, but it's not RGB synced because you can get the software. This is a Gigabyte motherboard, and yet I'm using MSI software on the Gigabyte motherboard, and I've been able to control the RGBs on the graphics card and I've got thermal take fans there which are RGB and then I've got Venom R20 by Akasa RGB as well. So it's all good, everything with a non-motherboard, non-RGB motherboard and everything's RGB. Now I thought I might as well just, uh, actually I need to turn the power off properly on the back. Right, so, right, that's completely off. So I've got a Vegas X7 LED cooling fan and I've also got Akasa's RGB LED 5050 um, LED basically and uh, we're going to plug this in quickly so you can see that you can actually sync with the, the AIO cooler just by plugging this in. Right so let's go. So as you can see, hopefully you can see that, you've got the CASA fan going and you also got the strip going and then if I turn upwards 
you'll be able to see the RGB at the top there for that, so it's the same colour. See, green, green, blue, blue, white, well, kind of an off white, pink, purple, red, and there is the strip itself. Let's focus on that. That's the strip. There's the fan. And there's the Acasa um, RM20 AIO. And it's all synced together. You can kind of see it then. All together. So it looks pretty cool. I'll hold that strip. Strip, strip, strip. Shouldn't really need to hold it, it's magnetic. There we go. So that looks pretty cool. So everything is all the same colour. Let's see what else we can do. If I press this button, what else? Are we cycling all for the colours? I can't remember now. Right, so that's the breathing one. Turn the light off. So it looks pretty crazy, right? So this is the bracket that basically controls, if you've got a non-RGB with the out, without the LED headers on your motherboard, this is your answer right here. This is the Casa control panel, uh, what's called the Vegas control card. Link in the description down below anyway, but it's really good if you need RGBs. If you're not into RGBs, you can still buy it and still switch it off at the same time and switch it on when you're having parties. But anyway, you got a, it's, pa it's SATA powered, so it's definitely not Molex. So that's pretty cool. They could have literally uh, wrapped it or cable wrapped it so it looks a bit nicer with a black cable and it matches the build or it matches whatever you're going to be doing it you just connect it straight into that box there this panel this port here is to be able to connect it to an rgb motherboard so whether you've got asrock gigabyte because this does gigabyte rgb fusion and msi asrock and asus it does all the motherboards right across the board they have got leds or rgb connectors you can connect it straight into the motherboard header and it will work so this is what where's my cable gone Right, this is the RGB uh, fusion cable, so this will be uh, perfect for Gigabyte, that's what that is for. And then you've got, so if I just take this out real quick, so this here is for four ports, so you can have four LEDs going off, which are the LED strips here, they don't need to be a CASA, but if you're going to use it, you might as well use it with CASA strips, or you can use it with the CASA X7 fans. And um, yeah, you can plug them in, so you can have two fans, two LEDs, or three LEDs, one fan. Whatever you want to do, you can do that, and that's what the ports are there for. And then on the back is where you've got the manual button there, and you can press it and change it, like four different cycles, like I explained and showed in the demonstration. And then you've got motherboard, where motherboard would turn it and change it into the sync synchronization of like a breathing asteroid uh disco mode or whatever it is There's just uh, loads of different modes that they've got you can just implement it but if you haven't got an rgb motherboard that will just be used as a turning off feature without going into the software and you've got this lovely silver button and this goes in the pci express port so it's no problem and it doesn't take up too much space but one slot so with this you get that and then obviously you've got to connect the cable which is out of power and then you also get um, an RGB connector as well, which has got the normal arrow on there to tell you like where you need to plug it into the motherboard. Now that goes into this port here. So it's just straightforward, just clip it in there and it's in there. And then obviously you get the strip for the RGB Gigabyte um, RGB Fusion and then you get a little screw as well to screw it into the bracket and then you can use a smaller bracket if you really want to, if you've got mini ITX or whatever, you can use that. But I used a full size one to go in them to show you the demonstration. And it was simple as that. Then you just get this simple instructions and that's it. And this lovely box, it's cool. And then that's the end of the review. Hope you liked it because if you like this sort of RGB things, then uh, go and buy it. I'll leave a link in the description down below anyway, so you can go and purchase this right now if you're out of RGB. And, uh, do you know what, this is quite funny. 
So this works with an RGB motherboard that's got RGB headers on it, but you can manually connect more. So that's pretty good. It's basically a more of a pass through to add more LEDs to it. That's a good idea. Good, good thinking, the Casa. And if you haven't got an RGB motherboard, you've just seen it. I've just made it work. So yeah, if you like this sort of stuff, leave your comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you next one.